Hello and welcome to this edition of Barbara Joy News. I'm Shaya George. And I'm Tatiana Veloso. We're going to start this week highlighting a teacher we love. Barbara Joy News team member Paulina Gallegos has this week's teacher talk. Okay, this is Paulina Gallegos and we're going to be asking some questions to Ms. Zapata. What's your favorite hobby? My favorite hobbies are to go to the movies with my family. We enjoy going to the movies, getting lots of popcorn and candy. Um, I enjoy reading when I have spare time and spending time with my family. Why did you decide to be a teacher? I wanted to be a teacher since I was little. I just love the interaction with the little ones. I love seeing them grow. It's just something that I've always wanted to do since I was young. Okay. And how long have you been teaching? This is... My 12th year, I believe. <laughs> I think. Okay. I think 12 years. Thank you, Ms. Zapata. Thank and, you. And, hmm, thank you for having your time. And this is Paulina Gallegos from Barbara New Students. And back to you, library. Let's turn now to the weather. It was a very rainy Easter weekend. What? So what does the next week have in store for us? Barbara Journal News team member Jacob Cardoza has a look at our forecast. Okay. Today is kind of windy and kind of cold at the same time. If you have a sleep, heavy sleeper still, so go to sleep tomorrow or something like that. For the next week thingy, uh, we're going to have uh, in the 80s, uh, Thursday 80, 88, uh, Wednesday 90, and Thursday 86, back to the 80s, uh, and 84, and then to Friday and Saturday uh, 71. So the 80s are coming back again. Uh, so we, uh, t that's the forecast. So wait a second. Y'all saw something in my hand the whole time, correct? Correct. And y'all saw be? bubbles. It's bubbles. <laughs> Yay. Bubbles. Yay. Here's something else to keep in mind. Another round of star testing is fast approaching. Third and fourth graders will take their math test on Monday 8th and then take their reading test Tuesday, May 9th. For the past few months, our school has rallied around one of our own Hunter. Barbara Drew News team member Aubrey Garza has Hunter's story. That's right, everyone here has rallied around kindergartner Hunter every step of the way. We had hat passes, we did um, place cards, with, we made Team Hunter things and people got to pay money and write their names and we put them all over Jordan in the front so everybody could see them. We also sold these awesome Team Hunter bracelets and can you believe how much money we raised? We got a um, total of $5,700 for Team Hunter and then um, this really famous football player named Roy Williams matched our $5,700. What does that say about our school? I really think that it says that Jordan Elementary is like the best campus around. That doesn't matter who you are, if you're a teacher, a student, if you have been to this campus, everybody around here loves and supports you. And when you're in need, we're going to be there to help you out. The good news today, Hunter is in remission according to our school's PTA. Hunter's latest test showed no sign of leukemia. As always, remember to keep Hunter in your thoughts and prayers. This is Aubrey Garda Garza for Jordan News. Um, back to you in the library. Parents, we have a story you need to pay attention to. Our school district has started a traffic task force. Barbara Jordan News team member Nathan Amaya explains what it is. Slow down and pay attention in school zones. That's the new message from ECISD's new traffic task force. You can expect to see more police officers around schools when parents are picking up and dropping off their students. Police will be giving tickets out inside school zones for speeding and cell phone use. Police say the goal is to keep all students and staff safe, not only while they're at school, but also coming and going to school. So here's your reminder. Put your cell phones down and follow the speed limit inside the school zones. I'm Nathan Amaya, and this is Barbara Jordan News. That's all for this week's edition of Barbara Jordan News. See you next week.